Venus in Leo, it's you want to do and you want to shine with your friends. You want to, or, or, a, or a beautification project, maybe an art project, a painting. Um, but this is, it's, it's socially wanting to shine. So however that resonates with you and however you want to address that, but that's the energy of this. It's, you know, just wanting to shine, but it's, it's running right into Mars. So yeah, that might bring it down a little bit. Yeah. Mind you, Venus and Mars, they are a pair, you know, it's kind of sexy. We've just had Venus prior to this in kind of homey cancer. It's like, you know, we had it in Gemini prior to that, which is very flirty. Then it was kind of like the stay at home snuggle type. And now it's kind of like, you know, here I am, I'm back, <laughs> you know, uh, wanting attention it can be quite dramatic. So yeah, it's, um, it's a fun position wherever Leo is in your chart, because Venus is one of the benefics. It does tend to bring good things. So, you know, we're not talking huge windfalls or anything, but, you know, you could expect nice things to do with the topics of uh, wherever Leo is in your chart. There may be some benefit there or, you know, gift or kind of just ease of being or kind of social contacts with people or topics associated with that house, maybe just more harmonious. This is also the sign where um, Venus is going to go retrograde later this ah, year. Good point. So, yes. Um, June 5th, it goes in to Leo. Mm. Um, I have that it goes into its retrograde shadow period on June 19th. It'll also, and then it'll, it'll officially go retrograde July 22nd mm -hmm. and then get out of the retrograde period about September 3rd. Yep. And it will finally end the shadow period of getting out of ret the retrograde thing, um, October 7th. So this is going to be a long, a long time in Leo. It's it's from basically till now when it goes in June 5th and it won't. When does Leo, when does Venus get out of Leo? I'm not sure. 8th of I don't October. Have that. 8th of October I've got written here. So we've got... Um... Venus in Leo for like four months because uh, it must yeah. retrograde at quite a late degree. Actually, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to get to 28 Leo before it uh, retrogrades. So it gets almost all the same. way through and then it retrogrades. Mars did the same thing in Gemini. It went mm. all the way almost to the end and then it retrograded and just stayed in one sign. And that is really weird because a lot of times, they like move over signs, yeah. you know, like Pluto is, you know, going between two signs. This is, is, is going to concentrate on just one house of yours, wherever your Leo house is, it's just going to be right there. Just like Gemini or just like Mars was with Gemini. So mm -hmm. it's going to stay in Leo. So um, get comfortable with it. At least it's a, at least it's a benefic planet. So that's nice. Yeah. But I mean, when it is retrograde, you know, we will be reevaluating matters to do with uh, relationships, but also our values, what we think about art, beauty, all those sorts of things. Starting from the shadow period, which isn't in this one, when is the next, when's the next new moon? It must be about the 17th or something. So it must be just after the next new moon that, uh, retrograde shadow period for venus will start but relationships kind of started under a venus retrograde don't have a great history of lasting the distance because everybody will be undergoing this reevaluating those sorts of things so yeah let's get used to venus in the uh, house of leo for a while yeah i like the fact that it's a benefic yeah it's always good <laughs> Yeah, if you're going to have a planet retrograding in one house, let it be a benefic. Yeah, and I mean, Venus comes back, I think, to a very similar place every eight years. So, you know, if you think back eight years ago, what was happening, there might be some sort of callback to that sort of thing. And it's got a really interesting, um, what would you call it? If you look at it. Pattern. Yes, it, the retrograde pattern over the five years, it's really quite pretty.